All right, what's good? So we talking soulmates. Yes, soulmates are real. Yes, soulmates do exist. I'm not arguing with niggas. You need to understand this because there's there are laws of of the universe that you need to abide by. A lot of y'all y'all don't know the laws, therefore you can't follow them. Therefore you're literally blocking your manifestations. That's why a lot of y'all you're not you're not able to manifest what you want to manifest because you don't understand the laws of the universe. Having a soulmate is part of these laws of the universe. See, there's this yin and yang about this about this specific planet. There's this yin and this yang about this planet. If y'all haven't noticed, day, night, as above, so below, hot, cold, fire, water. There's this yin and yang about this planet. This yin and the understanding this balance is literally important for you getting to your higher self. See, you need to become your higher self to ever even get to your soulmate. That's why a lot of people don't believe in soulmates because they've never actually put the work in to find their soulmate. See, to find people are so caught up in the in the, in, in thinking that to find your soulmate, you have to be with a bunch of people and you have to get with a bunch of people and then maybe one day you'll get lucky and you'll find the right person for you. But no, the reality of it is is that to find your soulmate, you just have to work on your soul. Simple. You have to work on your soul. How do you work on your soul? By aligning your chakras, working on yourself, doing so many different things. If you're not in shape, get in shape. You get what I'm saying? There's so many different things that you could that you could be doing, but instead you're out here worried about being in relationships. To find your you will never first of first and foremost, off rip, you will never find your soulmate until you become until you become your higher self, until you become the highest possible version of yourself. If you are not in your higher self, then you you won't even you would never find your soulmate. So if you if you have been in a bunch of relationships, but you've been in your lower self this whole entire time, and you're thinking that, oh, this person is right for me, or this person is right for me, or I think this, or I think she's the one, I'm telling you right now, she's not the one. If you're in your lower self, you will never find the one in your lower self. You just won't. It's just not gonna happen. You're so the the, the universe will only align you with your soulmate when you are ready. To be with your soulmate. And in order to become in this alignment. And to be ready for your soulmate. You have to be at, at, at a version of yourself. That is on a very high frequency. So that, that that way the universe will be able to align you with this person. So you so a lot of y'all. You, you've been wasting. You've been wasting time and energy. You've been putting mental strain. Physical strain and spiritual strain on yourself. Being with all these people that you don't need to be with because you're afraid to be alone, because you're afraid to be by yourself. And if you're afraid to be by yourself, then you're walking the completely opposite direction of your higher self. Because when you're at your higher self, you're never afraid to be alone. Why are you never afraid to be alone? Because you know that you're never alone. When you're at your higher self, you have an understanding of knowing that you're never alone. You're always with your spirit guides. You're always with angels. You're always you're all you you have a connection between this realm and the spiritual realm. You understand that there's always dimensions around you 24 seven. So, you know, you're never alone. So if you think you're alone, that's your ego. And if you're letting your ego control you, you're in your lower self. And if you're in your lower self, then whoever you're with and all these partners that you're getting with, they will never fully satisfy you. It's like it's like buying a cell phone, right? Remember when you bought that when you bought that cell phone when it first came out and it was cool and you loved it for a couple of months and then it just kind of became like a like a like normal and then it just got to a point where you didn't really like it so much no more and then you wanted the, the newest and the brand newest cell phone. It's just like that. It's just like that. Y'all are in these relationships that are basically materialistic. You're in these relationships with, with these people and they might satisfy you for that moment. They might be what you want for that moment, they, but they would never fully satisfy your soul. They would never fully be, they would never fully satisfy your soul and what you need to be. Why? Because they're not your soul mate. These are, you're, you're just using these temporary people to fill a temporary void because you're afraid to be alone. And that's, and that's why it's so important that you understand that uh, your soulmate does exist because if you don't understand if you don't acknowledge the existence of soulmates then you will never have any motivation to improve yourself and if you don't improve yourself then you will never even find your soulmate and then you will go through your whole entire life 
you will go you will go through your whole entire existence never finding a person that was literally perfect for you because you didn't even believe that that person was out there so you have to you have to actually understand that it's real so you can put in the work to find that person because a lot of y'all y'all are so busy chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing all these girls but you have to understand the meaning of chasing when you chase something that means something else is running away so while you're out here chasing these women and you're out here chasing these females they're running away from you. And that way, then there's no possible way that could be your soulmate because your soulmate doesn't run from you. The universe literally aligns you with your soulmate. Like when you find your soulmate, it might be some shit where y'all are in the grocery store at the right time, at the right place, in the, in, in the right moment, and y'all run into each other and you just feel that shit. You just feel the energy coming off that person. You just know. How do you know? Because you're at your higher self and you can feel energy. You, you know that this person is the one you need to be with. You know because you're at your higher self. So you understand on a spiritual level that this person needs to be with. But if you're not at your higher self, you, will not, you, you, won't, even, you, you, you won't even understand where I'm coming from with that. So you got to, y'all have to realize this is that it's, you have to understand this whole soulmate thing because you're wasting time. You're over here worried about getting married and doing this and doing that, and you're setting yourself up for failure. The reason why you're setting yourself up for failure is because you're getting married and you're being in these relationships that are not going to last. Why are they not going to last? Because you're filling a temporary void. Why are you filling a temporary void? Because the truth of the matter is you don't want to put in the work for yourself. So you're settling for a person that accepts you for who you are at that moment. You're settling for a person that accepts you for being overweight. You're settling for a person that accepts you for being broke. You're settling for a person that accepts you for not working on yourself. And this person that accepts you for not working on yourself is only with you because you're accepting them for not working on themselves. And so therefore, y'all are in this temporary relationship where it's only a matter of time that th that, that relationship is going to fail because y'all are not really healing each other's souls. All y'all doing is taking each other's energy back and forth every single day. When you're with your soulmate, your soulmate will literally heal your soul. It's like a part of your soul has come to you. This why you have you have to understand. I'm telling you, I'm telling you all the keys, bro. You have to understand this. You don't have to go out and chase your soulmate. Your soulmate could be all the way ac across the globe, and the universe will find a way to strategically bring your soulmate to you when the when it feels like the time is right. Until then, until the time is right, just continue to work on yourself. Continue to build yourself. Continue to align your chakras. Continue to be on seamer attention. Continue to meditate. Do everything that you have to do to get your frequency as high as it possibly possibly can be. Also understand that you might you might not just be in the right moment in your life to, to find your soulmate. Like I said, it's the right time at the right place. Some of y'all might might be damn near fit. Some of y'all might be 15 years old watching this. Some of y'all might be 17 years old watching this. You are not... You, you, need, you still need to build a, build a foundation in your life. You still need to build a career. The universe is not thinking about giving you your soulmate right now because you still, you still have a purpose to do. You still have things that you need to do in your life. You get what I'm saying? So some of y'all, y'all are at completely different levels of your life worrying about a soulmate just because you're lonely in the moment. Just because you're lonely in the moment. You get what I'm saying? I'm not telling y'all don't, don't have fun. I'm not telling y'all don't enjoy life. All I'm saying is you will never truly be satisfied until you get with the person that the universe has strategically designed you to be here on the planet with. Point blank period. Point blank period. Anyways, man, I hope that made sense. I'm out.